What's going on YouTube? Don't worry, I'm gonna come back at you. Hello to all my new subs out there. Thank you for joining me. Glad to have you. And thank you very, very much. Uh, there will be an update coming up on the sub contest tomorrow in the afternoon since there are a lot of subs who are uh, either at work or school or whatever else have you. So I'll put one up in the early evening. I'm in the Midwest, so I'll probably have it up by about hopefully 4.35 o'clock and we'll wrap things up then. Okay, just got back from a card show and so oh, wonderfully Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> Those of you who have ever been there. Anyway, big show, lots of tables, lots of people. Picked up a bunch of cards. Uh, got uh, just a just a variable junk load, well not a junk load, but uh, just a whole bunch of all these were a nickel a piece. A guy was just just giving you a shovel and just allowed you to, I got, I bet he had four or five, five thousand pound boxes and just let you pick them. So needless to say, I just raided him. Uh, some cooler ones or better ones of note. That is Dan Marino, Star Quest. I'm just going to run right through these guys. Really cool Hall of Foil, Neon Dion. Uh, Playoff Honors, Elway, that's PC. Playoff Honors, Marino. Uh, it's really cool Hall of Foil, uh, Curtis Ennis. Uh, another uh, Fleer Metal, Marino. It's really cool metal, Fleer Metal, Elway kind of refractor, I guess, diamond. Uh, it's really cool insert, a 3,000 passing for Car Carson Palmer. I don't know if that is no one. Got a Bowman Chrome rookie of uh, Andre Caldwell. Really cool Hall of Foil of Ennis. Bears. Uh, Chrome DPP. I'm not quite sure what that set is. Thick stock of Benson and Grossman. Sounds like a law firm. A couple of turkey reds of uh, Orton and Benson. <laughs> Neither of them with the Bears now that I think about it anymore. Uh, Urlocker owners. This really cool Marino. Still got the original, even though it's not top loaded or sleeved. It's still got the uh, covering on it. Uh, finest of Dan Marino. This cool Stadium Club Rickian. Another Elway Fleer Brilliance. A lot of this stuff is from back when I wasn't collecting actively and <laughs> never even heard of the sets. And back then, even then, back then, they're probably four and five bucks a pack. Couldn't afford it then either. Anyway, Stadium Club of Griffey diving for a ball, and I already have one of these. And for I guess the game used were two bucks, so I couldn't pass this up. Another ninety-nine uh, Hollow Gold Edge Curtis Ennis of the Bears with a little chunk of the ball. You can tell the age because the ball is almost, if I don't know if you can see it with the light in here, but the ball is actually cracking and almost disintegrating, so to bag that up real quick. And, <clears throat> and even though this was sleeved, this was still in the nickel box. A Leaf Rookies and Stars Studio Rookies of Garrett Wolf and Greg Olson. And for, for four bucks, they're on to the better stuff. For four bucks, got a Chrome Forte rookie. And I traded for this one. Traded for this Gale Sears Legendary Players out of Classics. I also traded for this really cool, it's a patch. I can't see it on camera, but it is, just take my word for it, a three color, one, two break patch out of Sterling Rookie of Garrett Wolf. I guess you can't see the orange there, just right on the edge, just a little line. And this really cool Bowman Chrome Refractor, I think, it's Zachary Inky for the Royals. Traded for all three of those. Yeah, I took four of my cards, I don't know if I got the better deal or not, but anyway. And uh, last but not least, for five bucks, I got another rookie authentic signatures number two eleven ninety nine of Eric Ainge of the Jets.
which this card is like going for in, for being almost 1,200 of them. It's going for insane prices on eBay. So was more than glad to get that. The guy bought a card off me for five bucks and threw in some sleeves, which I needed. So that was pretty cool. So uh, and then God, I got two bucks in a nickel piece, and I bought over two bucks in singles. So I won't bore you with all those, but there's some really cool ones in there. Anyway. Uh, like I said, um, we'll wrap up the sub contest tomorrow. By the time, by the time the sun goes down, pretty much wherever you are, you'll see the vid, and we'll wrap things up. And there's another show in like only two weeks, so I guess I get a little bit of time to sell some more stuff and get some more money. So, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Uh, peace, and uh, I'll check you tomorrow night. All right, guys.